It's an amazing day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday morning, 8.49 a.m. We are up. We had a half a cup of coffee in and um, got a couple things to do today. So breakfast yet but I am going to have my breakfast I have some office work to do about an hour you know it's the top of the month some things I need to take care of before I leave the house because if I leave the house it is a wrap so I'm gonna take care of those things um, in the office and then I'm probably just going to walk today walk slash gym but I think it's looking like I'm gonna probably walk and if I walk the goal will be two miles um, and I can do a little ab work here at the house. The goal is, let's see what I have on my agenda. I have an appointment, um, a Zoom call with a colleague of mine at two, and I have to be at work today at 7 p.m. So I will lay down, the goal is 4, 4.30, no later than 4.30, to sleep for an hour and get up and prep and get to work at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So it's 12 hours tonight which will be a cakewalk um so yeah that's what we have going on so far but i'll take you along the day uh it's april 1st we ain't gonna say april's fool's fool's day what's the opposite of a fool april whatever sorry that's my washing machine you hear in the background but nevertheless i'll talk to you guys in a little bit Hey, 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 fam. <laughs> We're becoming family, right? Um, I just finished, where did I leave y'all off at? This morning? I don't know. I was in the office for a couple of hours and um, got some work done. I didn't leave till maybe about 11. Went out, ran a couple of errands, had to go to Target, Office Max, ran into TJ Maxx, found some white jeans. We'll talk about that later. Uh, and then I came over here to walk. I just finished a two point something walk, two, two miles, a little over two mile walk. Now I am going to, um, it is 70 degrees. I'm hot, got this long sleeve t-shirt on. But I'm going to grab a little small sub from Subway, go home, wind down. The goal is to be resting by 4.15. Um, so that's where I'm at and that's all I got. That's all I got for right now. So touch base with you later. It's an amazing day. Love the rendition. <laughs> uh, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday afternoon at 1.53. As you guys know, I worked last night. This is an odd week for me. Uh, one of my colleagues is on vacation, so I'm doing some odd shifts. So opposed to me doing the 216s, I'm doing a couple of 7, um, 7P to 7A, so 12-hour shifts. And I did a 12-hour last night, got off this morning took a nice hot shower, had my oatmeal and went to sleep. And I woke up about maybe 11.45 and I just, you know, relaxed, stayed in bed, kind of read and journaled and did some things. Then finally got up, got myself halfway together and I'm about to make some lunch. Now today is not gonna be exciting because I'm gonna be laying back down or resting at about 4.15 to be back at work at seven. But I thought I'd pop in if I do anything interesting here, um, I'll you know take you guys with me. Well, actually I may go in the, I, well I am going in the office. I need to do about an hour's worth of work in the office, but that is going to be it for today. So I will check you guys later. Good afternoon, six o'clock. I'm headed to work. I'm leaving a little bit early because I'm going to grab a matcha. <laughs> Do not judge me. Listen, the pollen is pollening. 
out here. That's a little crazy. Pollen, the pollen is pollening. You can see all the little residue on the car, and my car is white, so ugh. Have to get her a bath this weekend. I'll let it kind of you know pollen a little bit more because it's just gonna. Let's go this way. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. So yeah, so I'm headed to work. Get this 12 hours over with and do what we do. And um, ideally, well, we'll just see what tomorrow brings. I don't have to go in tomorrow night until 11 p.m. So, you know, like I said, it's been an odd week. I'm just, you know, thugging it out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, making it do what it can do. So that's it. I um, yeah, I'm gonna grab this matcha from Starbucks and head on up the road. And can I have a short straw, please? Thank you. You know what I notice? That one or two things. That either people aren't um, teaching their children basic basic manners um, or they're not enforcing them as they get older they're not requiring them or you know kind of Know, reiterating the importance of you know basic social skills <laughs> i.e. manners that's why I'm not getting on that soapbox today but nevertheless I have my matcha we need to try to stir it up a little bit because sometimes they don't do the mix we on the road we got about a perfect little combination matcha grande three pumps of brown sugar so all right guys my head on the road and put my music on kind of you know stir me up <laughs> for these 12 hours and i'll chat with y'all later it's an amazing day it is wednesday afternoon 301 just got finished recording um, video and I have to go back to work tonight <laughs> at 7. Listen y'all, this has been a rough week right here. Your girl is tired. So, I'm giving you what I got. <laughs> I'm giving you what I got. Um, I don't know if I recorded yesterday or not. I don't think so. My schedule's been crazy. I've worked Monday night, 7 to 7, Tuesday night, 7 to 7, last night, 11 to 7, this morning, um, you know, trying to sleep in and I have to be back at 7 tonight, so, it's been, it's been, it's been interesting, it's been interesting, but uh, we're making it do what it do, and uh, decided to come on out and grab some Chick-fil-A, because that's what I'm feeling, I'm feeling Chick-fil-A-ish, <laughs> Healthy or not, just want some fries and a cookie. And then I'm going to go back home and relax. Because um, I'm going to be at work at 7. 
y'all know the drill i think you know follow me you know how you know how it goes down but um yeah but all in all everything is good and um just wanted to kind of come in and give you a quick update i don't think i videoed yesterday i can't really remember <laughs> i'm telling you this week is a blur it is a blur i uh, know i don't think i did because i had um yesterday okay so let me give you a little recap yes today today's thursday okay yesterday was wednesday so i yeah i got off at work at seven in the morning i went to sleep i got up and uh, got maybe at one but i had a meeting a zoom call with bianca um a, you know follow-up retreat before our board meeting this weekend and uh, i was in that meeting for two hours on zoom so by the time I got off that meeting, it was five something. I went, and, did I grab something to eat yesterday? I feel like I went out somewhere. I don't know, they all running together. But nevertheless, um, I just know I was laying back down like around seven. I was doing a little, some work, you know, laying down and then I went to sleep. And I had to get up and be at work at 11 last night. So it's been a kind of crazy week, you know, a little different than what I'm accustomed to, but um, you know, it goes with the territory. You gotta be a team player because when you want your vacations, because I got vacations this summer, <laughs> we gotta all play the part. You know what I mean? So um, this is because it's a relatively small staff and small facility, so we just kind of fill in for each other when we're taking vacations and stuff like that, which is all good. I have no problem with that. So I just wanted to come in, pop in. I'm going to get me a little Chick Fil A, and I just got a box and I ordered a new planner. Don't ask not ask planner paper pen girly okay <laughs> we've all got our things right but nevertheless uh, i'm gonna grab this chick-fil-a um eat that come back and wind it on down so i can be rested for you know tonight which you know i have 12 hours to pull so hopefully it won't be too busy or anything um but yeah so that's what we do and then um you know, tomorrow's Friday and we'll go with that. So talk to you soon. It's an amazing day. I'm carrying a little note there. Happy Friday. I am tired. <laughs> I worked last night. I got off this morning at seven. I had to go straight to PT, um, physical therapy for my shoulder. Did that. So since I'm up and out, I went ahead and I had to run to the bank and I just left Trader Joe's. Like I couldn't even concentrate in Trader Joe's. I just, <coughs> excuse me. I just got a few items and a kombucha. And your girl is headed home so I can rest. And then that way I didn't have to worry about coming back out later if I didn't want to. So I just wanted to pop in. I know this is an exciting, hasn't been an exciting week because I have been really literally just working all week. And uh, it is what it is, right? This is real life. <laughs> so... <laughs> next week could be a little more exciting but as for this week it has not i have not really i haven't made it to the gym you know you know what i told you in the beginning of the week i'm just trying to thug it out get the necessary things done because it's temporary and go from there so physical therapy was good um met my therapist and she was very sweet liked her a lot very um clear in terms of what we think is going on with my shoulder which is sort of an impingement and so um i was able to hold on y'all <laughs> um you know she did some evaluation with with me physically and then i did several exer exercises in the you know pt area and then before i left they put some heat on my shoulder and the little stimulators on my shoulder I don't know about 15 20 minutes which that felt really good now I can feel um, a little tenderness in the top of my shoulder because you know obviously I worked it out because I've been compensating for a lot doing very minimal 
um, with it. So, you know, that's not necessarily good, but I've been doing that for probably close to a month. So got to build it back up. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks, we can get some progress going. And again, it, you know, currently it doesn't um, hurt just in general. Like if I'm not moving it, it doesn't like ache or hurt anything like that. So that's a good thing. But there are certain movements like across the body, across the back, reaching out that can really cause it to shoot like a pain down my shoulder. So um, I think I told you guys already when I had x-rays last week, no arthritis scene, you know, no spurs or anything like that. So that's a good thing. Um, based on her eval evaluation, no rotary cuff, you know, challenges. So just kind of an impingement, like a tendon impingement. She explained to me, she pulled out the little shoulder, you know, which I'm familiar with, but I'm, I'm more familiar with bones than ligaments and tendons, but she was able to show me, um, you know, about that. So I'll be going a couple times a week. So that'll start next week and I'm definitely not going when I get off work. So I'll just be, I'll get up early in the mornings and you know do it early and then like I figure if I'm up I'll go do PT and then either go for a walk or go to the gym one or the other but I don't want to go there like today and the only reason I did it today because you know I didn't want to prolong the assessment if you will any longer so i just went ahead and got off work and went but it's now 11 11 i have not been to sleep i'm a good mm, 25 minutes from home so i'm gonna go home and take that shower listen i had breakfast because when i got off work i went through dunkin donuts and i just got a you know i called my mom was talking to her and i got a coffee a uh, small coffee and and egg and cheese croissant so i did eat that before i went got to pt because i didn't have to be to p physical therapy till eight so i had i think i did like maybe 15 minutes before driving you know from work to that location and um so all in all we're on our road to recovery because we gotta get this shoulder back i gotta do arm work for summertime you know what i'm saying for summer you want your shoulders you know want your triceps to look decent so i gotta you know <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get it fixed okay I gotta get it gotta get it fixed but nevertheless um that's about it work was great last night i did not have i mean i was there for 12 hours but we were not busy so that was good um so yeah i'm glad to wrap up this week i'm off today but i did it is my weekend to work so I have to work tomorrow morning at seven, you know, seven to three, but I do get to sleep tonight. So that's exciting. <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? Like, listen, when you don't work nights or get normal sleep, you take it for granted. So <laughs> this week has been a, a long week. As I shared, I pretty much worked every single day, like all, four days in a row, Jam, you know, Monday through Thursday. So it's been a lot, but uh, thank the Lord it through without extreme duress and I'm headed home now and I gonna get some rest and you know it's a nice day it's like 58 degrees right now I think it's gonna warm up a little bit so we'll see if I come out um, a little bit later which I probably will um, you know just because so I will check with you guys later good evening Y'all let me know if y'all get tired of looking at me in this position <laughs> at the end of the evening. But I think I come in. It is Friday evening at uh, 9.03. And uh, I think I checked in with you guys a little bit earlier. But I got home. I felt I got home like around 11, took a shower, and I was out until my phone rang. Troy called me. It was like 3, a little after 3, and asked me a question. And that, that's what woke me up. So I end up um, kind of laid around a little bit. And then I got up and I went out and ran a couple of quick errands. Um, maybe about an hour's worth of errands. And came home, been doing a little bit of editing. And this is it. This is all I got. It's Friday night. 
I am tired. It has been, and I know I've been saying it all week, and I'm sorry that this is an interesting vlog this week. It's just, it's just not. It's just not. I've been tired all week. I apologize. I'll have some entertainment for y'all next weekend. I promise. But you know, this is real life, right? This is real life. Um, as a empty nester, working woman, businesswoman, all the things. Sometimes it's just day in and day out it's nothing exciting right but you know nothing exciting in that way but it's all good it's all good so um let me think about what i want to chit chat about because i do want to give you all a little late night chit chat i think these are pretty cool at the end of the vlog so i'll be right back okay i got it so let's you know i just want to chat a little bit about um for those of you who have or had you know, adult children transitioning from, you know, teenage years to adulthood, right? And as parents, it is challenging as we navigate that transition, right? Of of letting go, of still guiding in some way, shape, or form, and um, but also allowing our children to, you know, to, to grow, to make mistakes, um, and develop, right? And so sometimes it can be a little challenging with that balance. And so, you know, I've done it before with Troy. Troy is 30. And uh, Troy went to college for two and a half years, right? And so, you know, where Gabby is now on the second year, you know, been there, done that, wrote the book on it, right? And so sometimes, um, you know, it's just challenging in, in navigating those spaces in knowing when to knowing when to be firm, knowing when to be a good listener, knowing when to um sometimes not say and do anything. Right? There there's just there is a balance of that. And um, you know, I am a firm believer in allowing um you know our children to make mistakes and growing but being there for them as well um because you know we come from as generation xers and some of you who may be watching me you know you may be millennials but definitely gen xers and baby boomers you know our upbringing um generally was just very different you know our parents did not have a lot of deep conversations with us it was more of this is what you do do it <laughs> right and, and and that's it right and I'm being a little facetious but and I think that as we learned from some of our parents mistakes because even as parents I've made mistakes right you know when we have our children we may tweak and do something different based on the information that we have and etc cetera, etc cetera. um so I don't know. I just wanted to share with that because I did have a couple of moments this week in dealing with um, both of my children. Nothing super negative, but that was thought provoking in both um, situations or conversations with them. And where I always have to really think about what I'm, in my opinion, you know, I want to be mindful of what I'm saying, how I'm guiding, how I'm leading and what stage they are in their life. And sometimes it's just not for us to do anything. Right. Sometimes just to listen, even when we want to shout from the rooftops certain things, you know, it just may not be um, conducive. And one of the things I learned, I've learned just um, with life in general, that uh, our words and the timing of those words are so important. Right. Because sometimes words delivered, uh, not delivered or delivered in the inopportune season are ineffective. Right. So when we think about there is a time to plant seeds. Right. You know, there is a time when the ground is ready to receive when there's something that needs to be planted. And so is it in life as well. Sometimes words um, will fall on on uh, more fertile ground with the proper timing. And so I'm, I've learned that as a parent, I'm not saying that I've mastered it, well, I, but I will say that I am much better because I really was um, very controlling. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, okay? It's taken me years, but I had a um, controlling personality. And what I mean by that is, you know, even as a parent, when Troy was young, I wanted to control everything. 
right? And so when I say control, you know, not even allowing sometimes your children to be children, you want to make sure they have on the right clothing and everything has to be just right and perfect. And that, a lot of that had to do just from the upbringing, my upbringing, um, you know, the environment. I mean, I'm from Connecticut, you know, I went to Catholic school, a lot of strict, strict, strict rules and regulations, you know, and I still have a lot of that in me. But um, yeah, but over time and work and understanding human behavior and therapy and counseling and coaching, um, you know, I've learned to let go a lot and letting go is freeing right? And it allows people to be themselves. And so even as a parent, we still have a responsibility, if you will, to allow our children, adult children, to be themselves, right? And they may not always do things the way that we want to do them. I'm not saying that we can't guide them or nor should we just, you know, not give them proper um, information and direction, the choice will always be there, but we still have that role as, you know, as a, as a parent of adult children. Um, and it can just sometimes be challenging. And so I'm just curious, you know, if you're watching and you have adult children or even teenagers, you know, have you had some challenges in this area? Um, and how have you handled it? Or sometimes do you just not know what to do, right? Because let's just face it, as parents, sometimes we get in situations um we don't know what to do and we act out of our emotions. And sometimes, you know, later we, you know, we recognize we could have done some things better. Um, but I do want to say this, that uh, one of the things that I have implemented with my children that my parents, to my knowledge or recollection, have did not implement with me is that when I am wrong, I do come back and say, I'm sorry. Now, sometimes we can say we can apologize for maybe the way that we handled something, but we can still stand on what we said, if that makes sense. You know, but I am um, not above an apology to my children, you know, and yet standing on what I meant to stand on. I hope that makes sense. Right. And I and I do. I have recognized that when I'm able to come back and say, you know what, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it the way that I said it. Or maybe I shouldn't respond it the way that I responded. But this is what my point is, right? Um, and I think that also teaches our children to do the same as they begin to develop and grow as adults, whether it's in the workplace or whether it's with children or friendships or relationships. Those are skills that we all need. Pride and unforgiveness ruin so many relationships, romantic relationships, family relationships, friendships because of pride and or unforgiveness. And sometimes we have to just set our ego and our pride aside and apologize when we know that we were wrong or maybe we did something in a wrong way, right? So um, I'm rambling a little bit, but I just brought wanted to bring that to the forefront tonight on a Friday night as this might be closing the vlog um, that... I had some of those thoughts this week, you know, as I dealt with, like I said, both, it was kind of interesting. It was an interesting week. I had different conversations with both of my children in different ways. Um, and so it always makes me sort of um, reflect on my parenting and the role of my parenting at this season of their lives, right? One is 30 and one is almost 20. So they're in two different seasons. They have two very different personalities. And so it's just, you know, it's interesting. It just keeps me on my mother toes <laughs> at this season of my life as an empty nester so listen um hope that wasn't too rambly but uh it is 9 13 you know what's coming next the hot shower the wind down and i do have to work in the morning from seven to three it's my weekend so uh, not only did I work extra because of someone out, but it's also my weekend. So yeah, it's it's been one. But uh, next week will definitely be a little better and a lot more time for myself and the things that I need and want to do. So have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Make sure that you like this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and make sure you hit that notification button so you can get all future notifications of my videos as I upload them. 
and uh yeah that's it so have a wonderful night i will see you next time bye Mwah.